Yo guys, what's up? So welcome back to another video. Uh, real quick before we start, uh, I just want to say that I'm very, very close. Or not super close, but like pretty close. 700 subs, about that. 300 more to get the big 1,000. And if you guys learn anything or enjoy this video, just, you know, think about it. And if you want to sub, that would be really, really, really nice. Anyway, let's get started with the video. Also guys, very quickly, uh, I have a disclaimer, so a lot of things that I say in this video, some people may not agree with, and that's just kind of how this type of stuff works with trading and the market and the economy of the game and stuff, but, uh, so take everything with a grain of salt, but, you know, I, I, I've traded a lot, so I kind of know what I'm talking about a bit, I'd like to think, but anyway, yeah, now back to the video. So the first topic that I'm going to talk about <clears throat> is basically uh, perms versus limiteds. So perm basically means permanence. So any item that is considered a perm would be like, like for example, a pop slice. The reason pop slice is counted as a permanent item or a perm is because it is always, you can always obtain it. It's right here. It's probably always going to be here it's not limited um anything from dungeons like these dungeons these permanent dungeons that have, they're always in the game these are all perm items you know this is a perm ult right here all these are perm ults you can see limited because these are events that are no longer around um same with wheels all of these would be limited items uh and then all of the shop items over here are counted as limited items so the reason that permanent items are actually worth less than limited items is because you can there's just more of them and you can always get them so there's no reason really to want perms um, usually if you get perms you make it your goal to get rid of them trade them away for limited because that would always be pretty much a W um, obviously some perms are worth more than some limiteds because just how rare they can be for example there's only a couple cases of this which would be like from here um omega basically or i don't know about doomfire but i know omega at least it's a sickle which has demand which is demand is something i'll talk about uh soon too but yeah Basically, anything that you cannot get anymore would be like a limited or stuff that's, you know, in a shop or whatever. Like right now, these will all be limiteds. But then everything that's in the game always is, is a perm. Alright, so the next topic is high demand items versus low demand items. And like, how can you tell if an item has demand? If an item does have good demand... Or like high demand you know it's essentially worth more people will pay more for it and if people pay more for it then you know it's basically higher value depends on the way you look at it and depends on the way you trade but um, basically something like most collects which are collects or something I'll get into later too um, are basically they're just like mythics or rares or greens or legendaries or whatever and these are all pretty much low demand um perms most perms are low demand but they're low value anyway because they're perms like i was just talking about um the cases for staffs most staffs in the game like weep wind shard just these are a couple of examples these are pretty much always low demand because 95 like at least 95 percent of players Let's just stick with um, normal melee or warrior weapons and they'll never use these or they look bad too. Like most of them look pretty bad. There's a couple exceptions like Ghoul Staff looks really nice. Um, but yeah, so like most staffs are just mid. And then there's stuff like this which are kind of like mid demand. It's a warrior weapon and it's like... You know, it looks okay. And then there's things that are like high demand. Stuff like pumpkin axe because it's a it's a huge axe and it looks insanely cool. 
things like like huge like sights, sickles, anything like that. Like this would be good demand just because it's a cool looking sword. It looks good, so people will pay more for something that looks that just looks good. Um, and that's pretty much all demand really is. It's just how much do people want something, and if people want things a lot, then you can get them to pay a lot more. So that's basically demand. All right, and while we're on the topic of demand and low demand, and I was just talking about collects earlier, uh, let's just take a second uh, to talk about collects. So basically collects are just like things like this, for example. This is a really nice collect. It's really rare, but zero demand, obviously. But there is an, there's kind of like a market for dem for uh, collects because a lot of people like to only trade collects and what makes something a collect is if it's like rare if it's old there's just not that many of them that's pretty much most of collects and stuff like for example this this is really old you don't see them very often um, it's a collect basically you know same with this or this and then there's the like really really old ones like this you know from this is from the first event in the game um and yeah so if you want to trade collects it's it's i'd say it's pretty fun trading collects i don't really trade collects that much even though i have a lot uh, i just kind of find them or you know snag them or whatever and then i just hard them and keep them forever i don't really trade with them but uh yeah pretty much that's collects Okay, the next topic is 6.24 or just god roll weapons. So a god roll weapon is anything, any weapon, or, or I mean, I'll just be talking about ultimates, but you can have high, like, uh, really good power on mythics too. Like, for example, this is perfect. 4.99 is perfect for a mythic, and I have one. And then the highest for an ultimate is 6.24. Um, but it would be considered god roll if it was just over 6. Point, uh, or if it was just over 6 or 6. Um, so basically, if it's like if it's a perm, it still does gain value because people will want it to grind with, so that you know they just have a high power ultimate. But then if it's like if it's a limited, it's it's really good. If you have a 6.24 of a limited, then it's guaranteed going to be worth, like, a lot more. If you have a... Like, if you have a boss drop, for example, something from a boss, and it's 6.24, its value is, like, it's, it's a lot more. Something like this, for example, 6.24 would be, like, it would be pretty good. It would be worth, like, 500% more, but it's, it's not too crazy. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, yeah, look out for 6.24s. Okay, now that we've covered all that stuff, I think I'm gonna look at hoarding. Um, hoarding is very basic. It's just um, when one person basically collects like an absolute ton of like an ultimate, or it could be a collect too, but just collecting an absolute ton of them, uh, which would basically project its value or increase its value, and they can basically get a lot of value out of it. That's basically how hoarding is. So now that all of the kind of terms and stuff are out of the way, all of the cool things that you need to know, um, there's just a kind like, a couple more things that are like certain items and that you need to look out for that are worth probably a lot more than you know or you may know and the first one would be boss drops so boss drops are anything that comes from like one of these um, like any of this type of stuff Gulopasm uh, Gulopasm returns the one that's out right now which I can't find for some reason. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so anything from Gulapism is, is. Oh, here we go. Like, all of these are worth a lot. And if you see them, you know, just know they're worth like a ton. Um, 
And then also I really wanted to cover effects because some people don't realize that like there are limited effects and like some of them are worth a lot. Um, anything, if you look here, these are all perm, permanent effects, perm effects. And they're not, none of them are worth anything. I mean, they're nice because you can put them on stuff, obviously. Um, but they're not worth anything. You can do one for one trades with effects, not hearts, whatever. Um, and then there's like limited effects that are actually good. I have a few. So like sunshines, these are, these are pretty bad because they were so easy to get. They're really not worth anything. But like these are from the dungeons. Uh, so the limited dungeon so they're worth a lot same with the fishy um and then the best effects in the game uh, i'll put them on screen so you know what they look like but you got terror and you got ghoul or i guess i'll put them in order so number one best effect is ghoul and then number two is terror and then number three is bunny and number four i think is egged so if you see those then just know like if you can get them for cheap definitely do it because they're worth like a really good amount but anyway yeah okay so the last thing the very last thing i'm going to talk about now is the top 10 ultimates in the game so the top 10 is basically just a list of the top 10 most valued ultimates in the game and Personally, I hate this list. It, it's really, really annoying. Um, it changes like every day. Nobody can agree on it in the community. So I would never really use the top 10 unless you're talking about like maybe top five because that's kind of pretty stable, which is just like Bash Tracker, Hollow Wings, Axi, Ghoul Scythe, Ghoul Staff. Like, just those, those are pretty much always top five. Um, but anything below that is just changing so much that it's never really reliable to use that. But yeah, that's basically what top 10 is. It's just really annoying. I wouldn't worry about that very much. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video or learned anything new, definitely consider dropping a sub because I'm going to start the, like one of the next videos that I upload after this is going to be basically how to get started actually trading and how to gain value um, using like upgrading and downgrading and using demand and all that to your advantage basically just increasing your inventory so that you guys can get items that you want and uh, I'll even maybe if this does well I'll, I'll create a series and like start like basically just going through all my trades and explaining them and you know telling you guys like about different items and what they're worth because at the end of the day this is just very rough like an outline of all of the things in this game and what values they have like everything every value is different so yeah some are big difference some are little difference but yeah it's it's kind of annoying but yeah so Make sure you guys like and sub and all that. And like I said, if you learned anything, you know, definitely think about watching the next video. And uh, yeah, peace out.